Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day. And this one's all about Mrs Jones buying some presents. What a kind lady. Mrs Jones has got £20 to spend on presents. She buys four mugs and three teddy bears. What's the greatest number of key rings she can buy? Well, if she's buying four mugs, a mug is £2.45 times four. So why don't we put times four at the bottom of the mugs price tag? And she's buying three teddy bears, so we want £1.80 times three. Now, that's the information we've got to go on so far. So why don't we work that out? So four mugs is going to be £2.45 times by four. Quick column method, and we should have that. So four times five is 20. Put the zero in, carry the two. And four times four is 16. Plus the 2 is 18, put the 18, carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 is 9. So that's £9.80. So she basically spends £9.80 on mugs. Next, we're going to get three teddy bears. So that's £1.80 times by 3. So 3 lots of nothing is nothing. 3 lots of 8 is 24, put the 4 in, carry the 2. 3 lots of 1 is 3, plus the 2 is 5. So she's spending £5.40 on teddy bears. £5.40 on teddy bears, there we go. And we've got to work out what the greatest number of key rings she can buy. Well, we know that she had £20 to spend, but what we need to do next is figure out how much she's actually spent so far. So if we add together the £5.40 and the £9.80, let's see where that takes us. £5.40 add... £9.80, this will tell us how much she spent so far. 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 8 is 12. Put the 2 in, carry the 1. 5 plus 9 is 14, plus the 1 I've just carried is 15. So that's going to be £15.20. So she has spent £15.20 so far. So we need to figure out how much she's got left to spend on key rings. Well, she started with £20 and she spent £15.20. So if we subtract the £15.20 from £20, so that's 20.00, take away £15.20, that'll tell us what she's got left for the key rings. 0 take 0 is 0. 0 take 2 we can't do. So we borrow from the 0, but we can't borrow from the 0 because there's nothing there. So we need to borrow from the 2. Borrow from the 2 and that becomes a 1, and the 1 we've borrowed makes this 0 into 10. Borrow from the 10 and that becomes 9, and the 1 we've borrowed makes this 0 into 10. Now we can carry on. 10 take away 2 is 8, 9 take away 5 is 4, 1 take away 1 is nothing. So it's £4.80 left. So she's got £4.80 left for the key rings. Now we are running out of space. We do have one more step to do, and that's find out how many key rings she bought with £4.80. So we're just going to rub a little bit out and make some space. So finally, we need to figure out how many key rings she can buy for 95p each in four, with £4.80. So in other words, how many 95p's go into £4.80? Now, the easiest way probably to do this is just to count up in 95p's. So one lot of 95p would be 95p. Now, two lots of 95p, we could just... Instead of adding on 95p, we could add on a pound and then knock 5p off because obviously a pound would be five pence too much. So 2.95s, if you add on a pound, would be 1.95, then knock 5p off would get you down to £1.90. 3.95s, add on a pound, would be £2.90. Knock 5p off would be £2.85. 4.95s, add on a pound, would be £3.85. Knock 5p off would be £3.80. And 5.95s would be £4.80. Knock 5p off would be £4.75. Now, we've only got £4.80 to spend, and that just comes to £4.75. So we'd still have 5p left. So the final answer is that is five key rings. So what's the greatest number of key rings she can buy? She could buy five key rings and that would become £4.75. But she would still have 5p left. Still has 5p left.
And there's your final answer. She can buy five key rings.